Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we got some spoilers in for season 11 episode 14 of The Walking Dead. So spoiler warning if you don't want to be spoiled for the episode because these are most likely true. Usually they have good sources. These come from The Walking Dead Universe spoilers on Facebook. Check them out if you'd like. And just a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, we cover Walking Dead weekly, so that'd be really cool if you hit the subscribe button, help us grow up. And yeah, so the leaks for this episode are crazy. Um, I did not see this coming. It's a crazy episode in a different way than I thought it would be. But yeah, let's jump into it. Maggie, Aaron, Elijah, and Lydia are are in the building, and they all find their way to the secret room that has Negan, Gabriel, Annie, and the rest of their people. Maggie's trying to assess the situation, and she asks who Annie is and who she is to Negan. Negan holds up his hand and flashes a wedding ring to reveal that they're married. Negan stays in the secret room with Elijah, Lydia, and the other people, while Maggie and Annie go on a hunt to sweep the floor for survivors, and Aaron and Gabriel do the same, just on a different floor. When Maggie and Annie are alone, Maggie sees Annie pull a, a ginger root from her pocket, and Maggie asks the question, is that ginger? And Annie says, yep. Therefore, Maggie asks her how far along she is, and Annie confirms 12 weeks. So, Annie, the new character with Negan, is pregnant. Maggie asks if the baby is Negan's, and she says yes. After they receive news about Herschel stowing away, we'll have more information about that in a moment, Maggie is upset, and Annie assures that he's in good hands. Maggie says that he's in the hands of the man who killed his father, and Annie admits that she knows that Negan told and told her everything. Maggie says, and you still married him? Before Annie explains that no one's hands are clean and people have done terrible things to survive, and he said she has she has done them and had them done to her, but now Negan is a good man. Maggie is upset, emotional, says he doesn't get to forget, and Annie looks her right in the eye and says he hasn't. So we get we'll cover so like Herschel does stow away in uh, Maggie's truck, so we'll we'll cover that part of the leak in a moment, but like yeah, so I guess we're getting the setup of the glare from the trailer of. Herschel to Negan and all that and like Maggie's super conflicted because the man that killed Herschel's father is the one saving him and it's just like you know how Maggie and Negan's tension has been crazy this year let's move on some more I forgot to sc scroll down for you guys but I'm reading them off my phone from a different place with slightly better translations Daryl was supposed to meet Carol for lunch but when he didn't show up, she went looking for him, and she found out he was on a special assignment with Rosita. She goes to Mercer, and he brings her along, just in case they are in danger. Sebastian wants Daryl and Rosita to cover themselves in guts and walk through the herd to get into a mansion that used to belong to a friend of Sebastian's. His friend's dad was the president of a bank and hid a lot of things in his panic room office, including huge amounts of cash, which Sebastian needs because Pamela cut off his funds. Daryl says they won't do it, but Sebastian says they will. Sebastian is a brat. Scroll that down for you guys. Sebastian asks them how their kids are doing and says one just skipped two grades, referring to Judith and Coco. Is she walking yet? He questions with a subtle threat. Quickly, Daryl has a knife at Sebastian's throat, and Rosita has her gun on him. Daryl snaps at Sebastian. Is your advanced military training going to help you right now? One of Sebastian's personnel guards has a gun on Daryl, and he tells them to drop it or they will kill them both. Rosita says, not before I take this asshole's head off. With a blade tip on Sebastian's neck, Daryl says, let's get one thing real straight. You threaten our kids one more time, I will gut you. So, yeah, Daryl's not having it about them. We, we, we've seen this. Obviously, there's tension between them. Sebastian backtracks and says, who said anything about hurting the kids? I can make their lives easier, and that's all I'm saying. So, like, he's, now he's turning it like, well, if you help me, I'll help you. Let's get you guys down here. All right. Negan monitors the area around the secret room. This is where we figure out about Herschel. When he sees a Commonwealth soldier come come in dragging Herschel, Herschel has stowed away in the truck of Maggie, Elijah, and Lydia. So Negan kills the Commonwealth soldier and comes into the room with Herschel. He radios Maggie to let her know that, and Maggie is very upset. Herschel tells Negan that his mom told him to stay away from him, and Negan says his mom is a smart lady. Herschel questions why his mom doesn't like him, and Negan says it's because something that happened a long time ago. Herschel asks if it, if it was something bad, and Negan looks defeated and confirms that it was something bad. Herschel asks Negan if he was the bad man, and Negan admits that he was. Herschel points a gun at Negan and says, My mom told me a bad man killed my dad. It wasn't you, was it? 
And Negan looks looks ashamed and admit that it was him forcing down with the gun still on him. Negan says to Herschel that there's nothing he can do or say that's going to make what he took from him and his mother uh, better. He says he knows he wants to pull the trigger and he doesn't blame him, but if he does, the bad people are going to know where they're hiding. Negan tells Herschel that maybe he deserves to die for what he did in his, to his dad and his family, but the people, he, the people that are here don't. Herschel lowers the gun and Lydia takes it from him before he runs out of the room. Lydia sadly looks at Negan in disapproval and walks out. So we get to see, like, maybe I guess Lydia didn't know, like, the extent of what happened and why, like, Negan was in jail for all that long. Like, obviously, Negan and Lydia have had this little bond. So, like, yeah, maybe she had no idea about that. Let's go on to the next one. Sebastian, Sebastian doesn't stay and leaves his two guards behind to make sure that they, they get the job done. There's a woman in a locked panic room, so Daryl and Rosita had to rescue her. They would they they would have grabbed the money to get out electronic or they would have to grab the money and get out of the electronically locked panic room before the generator gave out, which would lock them all in, which is what happened to the woman. Daryl and Rosie are inside getting the money when an alarm sets going up, drawing all the walkers to the house and that room. Rosita manages to break the alarm, but there's already a swarm of walkers on the door. Daryl and Rosita are trying to figure out how they can fight their way out because there isn't isn't one, but Mercer and Carol show up show up and get through. All of them covered themselves in guts. Yeah, all of them covered themselves in guts to get out, but the woman gut covered armor snagged on a walker and she couldn't she couldn't get free and ends up dying. She was wearing their armor they gave they gave her yeah, they gave her that was covered in guts in order to protect her. Mercer executes both of Sebastian's guard. Afterwards they had to bring the money to Sebastian inside the Commonwealth. They won't do another mission, at least for his personal needs, even though Mercer killed his guards. They tell him that they weren't they they just didn't make it. Daryl and Rosita do kill walkers in the house sequence. So that house that I, I kind of thought it was a little bit to do with the, the hilltop just because the way that the one building looked, but it is confirmed somewhere else. It's apparently someone rich used to live there before the apocalypse and Sebastian wanted his money. All right, so Toby and the remaining Commonwealth soldiers are getting close to finding the secret room that the group is in. Maggie realizes that they need to lure Toby and his guards away so that they're able to start getting the people out. Maggie radios Aaron and Gabriel and gets them to lure Toby and the guards up to the roof. While Aaron is talking to them, Elijah creeps up Elijah creeps up behind him and kills the guards. Aaron shoots Toby and throws him off the roof, roof uh, throws him off the roof, causing him to break his back and not be able to move. The people that he previously threw off the roof are walkers, and it's presumed that they that Toby is devoured. All right. At the end, they are all regrouping when Negan says to Herschel, I, I know we still have some unfinished business, but I'll tell you what. You help your mom, and you rebuild your home, and wait a few years until you're grown up a bit. Then you come find me, and I promise you, we'll settle it. Maggie comes in, and Herschel is mean mugging Negan, and she says, what did he say to you? And, and turns around as they both just look at Negan while Negan and Annie look back at them. So that's that's the scene where... Where uh, we seen it in the trailer where they're both kind of like glaring back at him. So this whole time, like that's how it is. And that like Maggie went to live there. It's just Maggie went there to help. And I'm guessing this is what's going to set up some weird ass conflict for them guys. But the last spoiler, we get the return of Leah. At some point towards the end, Annie has asked if her people didn't take the shipment of guns and supplies. Then who did? The screen flashes to a two weeks ago flashback. And it shows a wagon full of stuff with a horse. There are Commonwealth troopers shown, some alive, some dead, before Leah is seen killing one of the soldiers. So we got the return of Leah, and she's the one that actually got got all the stuff that they had. So yeah, this sounds like a really crazy episode. I didn't I didn't think that it was gonna play out like this, but I dig it. I'm really in. Negan's having a baby. Negan's got a wife. It's cool that like he got to kind of like let his stuff rest with Lucille and it's really cool because this is uncharted territory in the comics once again and I'm really really digging the changes with the like this they're not only just subtle changes but they're just changes to go along with like just to keep the story fresh and you know Walking Dead's been pretty good about that throughout the years so yeah let me know what you guys think about these spoilers if you guys are excited for Sunday's episode on AMC plus or next week's episode on regular AMC and yeah just a reminder to subscribe if you're new to the channel we'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.